0500 hours. The armor formation is gearing up for a big day. The armor skillet arms. 10 units will go head to head, pitting their skills against one another to be crowned the sharpest shooters in the formation. Each team will be judged on speed, accuracy, and number of rounds used. You just have to look at your target, know what to do, and if you are off the shot, you should be able to correct it as soon as possible to hit the target. Units will compete in three platforms. The Bronco, the Bionics, and the Leopard Tank. All teams must adhere to safety regulations. Violations will result in immediate disqualification. Upon the signal, each team performs a 100-meter rundown to their vehicle, mounts it, and prepares to fire. all-terrain vehicle, the Bronco is as powerful as it is versatile, making quick work of targets with its mounted GPMG. Once again, each team races 100 meters to the vehicle, mounts it, and takes aim. Compact yet powerful, the Bionics packs a punch in each shot of its 0.5 caliber HMG. The basic thing is your fundamentals. So if you get it right, then the next thing is the pressure. Best is to remain relaxed at all times, then it's easier for us to concentrate. Just make sure you're shooting, you know what to do, and the synchro between the gunner and the spotter. In this event, the Bionics is fitted with a two-man turret housing a 25mm Bushmaster cannon. With the aid of thermal gun sights, this variant can even hit targets through smoke and darkness. In addition to the gunnery skills, this competition tests how well team members work together to bring down the target. When the uh, commander gives the command, uh, as a role of a gunner, we have to find a target fast and then lay onto the target and fire off. Between us, there must be very good coordination and teamwork. At the signal, all teams perform the final 100 meter rundown to their tanks. Each team only has 6 shots at the targets, using VM78 tank rounds. Each shot reaches a volume of 110 decibels, making your heart skip a beat and rocking you to the core. When you give the command fire, you have to pop your head out to look at the target. So when, when you're on top, the shock wave is actually quite huge when you're outside the tank. So far, I only have a few rotations of experience shooting the 25mm gun. 
so it's really quite a challenge, but it's always a good thing to feel a bit of pressure. I think my crew is competent. The gunner, loader and commander, they are each good in their specific roles and I feel that it's a fair game. Although the event was soon over, it was a memorable and meaningful experience for the armor formation.